Frank Howarth. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey everybody, it's time for another edition of Chat with Chris. I'm here in Portland, Oregon with the great Frank Howarth. Frank, I'm really excited to be here. You know, Frank and I have been talking for about an hour now, and uh, we're just thinking, gosh, we should have been filming that whole conversation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to do today is ask you a couple questions. We're going to take a shop tour, and then if you have any questions for me, you can ask me as well. Okay? So, Frank, first of all, tell me a little bit how you got into woodworking. I've been doing it as far back as I can remember. I mean, even back in grade school, doing little things. Um, but it, di it didn't really start until I moved here to Portland and bought my first house. And then I was kind of forced to start actually making stuff. Fixing stuff? Fixing making stuff, stuff, making stuff. And I, I, I basically redid that entire house <laughs> with, with the little basement shop that I put together. What drives you to keep growing your channel? I mean, it's fun telling the stories about mm -hmm. making stuff. And mm -hmm. it's really fun getting the feedback from people. You know? both, both that people seem to really like it, but also just learning, learning stuff you know, from other people. That, you know, you'll, you'll kind of put something out there, and then you'll get like 10 different ways to, you know, to do it differently. I'm sitting in this enormous shop. It, this is like a shop for 10 people. This is crazy. <laughs> Um, what was in here before? So there was a pool where this is. We decided we could build the shop in that. It's sort of like you're inside my brain when you're in this, in this space. Sort of where, where all the stuff is put and why, why it's put where it is. And I think I read somewhere years and years ago that it was good to kind of divide, divide the shop up into the areas that you use it for. So like the, the front part by the door here is all the wood storage and the um, cu cutting big, big things down to size. So the, okay. the big radial arm saws are here. The storage is here. The, the, the big saw for, for doing rip cuts is here. And the, the planer and the joiner are here. So th this section... Hey, I recognize that clamp right there. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> What's that clamp called besides the Frank clamp? Oh, the cantilever clamp. Okay, okay. <laughs> so like a C clamp, when you're trying to clamp something, on a surface, the, the handle is down on yeah. your surface. Right. It's not where you want it. You know, you can kind of do this, right? But it's like in an awkward spot, whereas this puts the handle like right where you want it. Right where you want it. It's like right, it's the closest thing to you. Where can I get one? Where can I get one? <laughs> So, so this section is all about just getting wood ready to be used. Okay. Got it. Okay. And then the, the middle section. Here, let's just quickly go. Here's, here's all your clamp storage. And now, this is an air condition, but you've got these great, well, you've got great natural light and, you know, electrical lights. But it's fairly cool here most of the year, right? I mean, okay. you can tell it's about 10 degrees cooler than it is outside yeah just because it's down in the ground like a basement yeah. but then the middle is kind of the general part parts making area okay so all the kind of regular um woodworking stuff is in the middle got it the smaller radial arm saws the regular table saws the sanders frank i'm really impressed with all the hand tools you use but clearly uh you've never used them well, you know, when clean the dust off. When you know, stu uh, stuff happens. Oh stuff happens. <laughs> yeah, but see, with pot with hand tools, that doesn't happen. That happens with power tools, man, because they don't stop. <laughs> True. And then the back of the shop is kind of the specialty stuff, and I have the CNC machine and the lathe are back there. Let's go take a look at that. <laughs> oh, hold on, this thing is massive. This really should be over in the front part, but it's over here because it's nice having it next to the lathe because I do a lot of bowl, bowl blank making and that kind of stuff with it. Got it. So it's okay. nice having it over here. Okay. Now I have to ask, what is this? What is this contraption up here? I made a jig that holds a camera that'll rotate around the lathe. So I can do a um, time lapse. Time lapse. On the lathe. Oh, that's cool. And there's a little motor that turns that turns really, really slowly. That's almost mad scientist. That's awesome. 
So and there's is... a second door over here. Okay. Just like day, days like this when it's warm and it's like perfect outside, you can open that up and it, it really ma makes Sounds the like... shop feel open. Okay. Oh, that's great. Okay. And then this beast here. And then the CNC machine, which kind of takes up this, this corner of the shop. Do you have to worry about your computer getting full of dust though? Probably, but it's been fine so far. Okay, <laughs> I guess you can clean it. I do want to make a like computer desk cart kind of thing so I can free up my regular cart and have a computer workstation and have a box with some filters on it so that computer. What are you going to do to make that computer cart to be Frank Howarth worthy? <laughs> um, make it out of birch. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> now, is there any piece of equipment that you don't have you wish you did? Oh, there's a, there's a bunch of bunch of stuff like that, like a bigger like, like a double sided bigger disc sander. Okay. For doing that segmented lathe stuff. Okay. Okay. The Portland problem is that there's so much wood out here, but there's so many makers that it, it, it it's really hard to get your hands on any of it because there's so many other people that want it. Well, you know, I, I today I went to Gobi's Walnut Shop and. They have all these huge walnut trees they collect that are like four foot in diameter. And they were amazing, but it sounds like there's so many people that are after the wood, it's hard to get free stuff. Like when Matt yeah. and I talk about it, people just call us and, you know, it's, it's a piece of cake. They just say, come and get it, and we yeah. just go and get it. Now, it's not the four foot diameter pieces, but it sounds like it's hard to just get scrap around here. Right. Huh? Sometimes when I've gotten walnut or i've turned it down it's because you know someone says oh they got some walnut well what it is it's the little branches left over <laughs> from when someone else came and got the log you asked me how many of these shirts i have i have about <laughs> i mean i probably have 12 uh -huh. but i just discovered something this weekend you can they, turn them inside out and wear it again i do that with <laughs> underwear but not my shirts <laughs> but i i uh found out that they're stopping to make this color they changed the Ooh. color to a different shade of yellow I gotta have this, so I have, I'm gonna go online and order, order like, like 50. Well, well, remember, this is like a lifetime purchase, so Smart. I think what you're gonna see, people, is a lot more my shirts with holes in them because I just can't go through them like I normally. I gotta have a, this is like a show shirt, see, this is clean. <laughs> but you're gonna start seeing holes with, uh, shirts with lots of holes in them. But yeah, they changed the color to a lighter yellow. It's nicer looking because this is pretty vile. Yeah. But you can see me coming from a mile away. Right. So, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go and invest in some shirts. Huh. You know, at some point I should probably get a Chop with Chris shirt, but I haven't done any of that yet. I'm, I've kind of grown into the wearing black shirts the same way. It's just not as loud. Oh yeah, so people will recognize you in different yeah. places, you know. And I almost have to make it a, like we've joked that when I go out, wherever, you know, out in the city somewhere, I, I need to wear something different. So I'm not so much of a brand walking around. Do people? recognize you out and about? Occasionally. Okay. Maybe once every few months someone will. Okay. It only happens to me at woodworking shows. So. Yeah. But when I, when I wear the yellow shirt, everybody recognizes me. When I don't wear the yellow shirt, nobody knows who I am. In fact, at the last Maker convention we got together at in Atlanta, I went up to my room and took my old shirt off, put on a different shirt, came back down, and I swear to you, I was talking to people. They didn't know who I was. <laughs> and I was just talking to them before with, the, with my yellow shirt on. So Frank, woodworking's not your only interest in, you, in uh, woodworking YouTube videos. What else do you like to do? I do a lot of gardening and some cooking. Um, so I've got sort of two, two gardens. I've got a littlish one over here by the shop. That's pretty big to me. Which is mostly um, tomatoes and beans. Oh, so a big project that needs to happen, since you're probably going to show this in the video, is our back porch. Because it kind of looks a little shanty right now. <laughs> I know, and I, it's hard to film out in front of the shop because I can never point the camera at the house because it looks so crappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is going to be another big project. And when will you get to that? Well, we keep, like, every year, it's like, okay, this spring, and then, and then no, um, let's do it this fall, and then let's do it this spring, and then it just keeps, like, never happening. <laughs> so it's hey, a big, yeah. hard, heavy, a lot oh, yeah. of lifting and... Because then the backyard would be sort of finished and yeah. it'd be a nice place to hang out. 
So, um, this is the, the bigger garden. Wow, you got a lot of tomatoes. I can most of them. Okay. These grapes are delicious. You said you make raisins out of these? Yeah. Impressive. Okay, so with raisins, I found if you you slice them in half, dry them in the dryer, and they come out really good. They're like candy. You can just stick them like this in the dryer, but they take too long and they, they don't taste very good. Or they I don't taste cut them good. in half. Yeah. Hmm. So it's kind of time consuming, but they taste really good. <laughs> oh. um. I almost tripped and fell, but I'm okay. <laughs> I have all this wood drawing here, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to make a little, a better little shed roof for all this stuff. Yeah, maybe a little bit better. I don't know, maybe a little better. It's been, okay. it's been fine over the summer. Yeah. But it's gonna start raining soon. And then it's gonna be in bad shape. This doesn't, this kind of works, but. And there's a water tank that I saw you take out of a pickup truck and just <laughs> roll around like it was nothing. I have a pump that I need to hook up to it so I can get the water out easier but this is just to water your garden and stuff yeah i mean i've been just taking it out in a bucket oh, but at some point i need to do better than that mm. that's great because <laughs> it's a pain carrying buckets around okay so what do we got here frank the bat that i made And you just, you don't leave that laying around your house, do you? Kind of. You're gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> my, my wife bumped her foot on it like a week ago and she kind of yelled at it. <laughs> like, why do we have this thing? <laughs> well, I mean, that's sharp. It's yeah. gonna kill someone. Yeah. Okay, so what is this place here? What do we have here? We're I mean, in my office. Okay. Where I do the video editing stuff mostly. Oh, wow, look, you got every, oh, look at that. All the organization. <laughs> All the camera stuff, very nice. You really like, I really like this design here. Just pick that right off. Oh, and this is where you take pictures of your and stuff? I, at some point I want to build a proper photo booth, but for now it's just a piece of paper and some lights. That works, that works. <laughs> the famous kitchen, refinished yes. by Frank Howard. Oh. Wow. Wait, there's something really important over here. Right there. Oh, I'll be on a cookie. <laughs> you said you make really good cookies, so. Oh wow, there's all the tomatoes you've been canning. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. No pressure. <laughs> Delicious, okay, I'm gonna sample these a little later. Okay, let's keep going. Oh wow. That's amazing. Oh, oh. And then, yeah, that, that I did ju just recently. Wow, that's beautiful. And then, lots of bowls. It's <laughs> amazing. Christmas ornaments, very nice. I think this is the first one. Wow. Uh, I've been doing one, one a year. Okay. Now those would sell like hot cakes. Yeah, okay, so for the time that went into this, this is probably like a grand. <laughs> well, but people aren't gonna buy, buy it for a grand. Well, okay, well. But maybe. Are these the ones that walked across the lawn? Yeah. Wow, those are huge. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, Frank and I really never ended the interview. We talked, we toured, he fed me, I ate the rest of his chocolate chip cookies, and then he showed me the door. No, but seriously, thank you so much to Frank and Bonnie for letting me invite myself into your home. You have a wonderful home, beautiful children. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I always wanted to go interview Frank Howarth so I can cross that off the bucket list. So thanks again. 
Hey, and for everybody, Frank and I also film segments for a bowl making video, and that'll be out later this fall. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to Frank Howarth. I'll have the links in the cards in the description section, and please subscribe to me. Thank you.